Hello everyone and welcome back to the Contingency Server. I Palladium PD and your host. Hope you can afford to eat gold. You know, I found that prank down down there. And it was yeah, you know, it was it's annoying. But I thought okay, you know, they don't really deserve much retaliation. But take a look at this. See all this nonsense? Yeah. All water sources die. And look, there's more. Come over here. The reason I found this out was because I was standing here just minding my own business and I heard some fire. Check this out. Hmm? What do you call that? Ladies and gentlemen, this is not acceptable. Check this out. There's more. Look. And they even went off. Who knows what could have happened? I'll find a use for this TNT, don't you worry. Come over here. Let's have a little look at what's up here. Oh look! Water and a cave. And look! More! So, you know what? My revenge is going to have to be a little bit more extreme than I was planning. Ugh. Let's close that off for now. Yes, indeed. A little bit more extreme. You mess with me, you messing with the best. You wanna play rough? Say hello to my little friend. Oh yeah. So what we have here is a uh, Mark V Ultra Cannon. Fires five rounds per second. can't hear all five because I got lag on the server but definitely five don't worry about that and uh, well you know they wanted to set fire to my base so I'm gonna set fire to their base or to them so this is what we're gonna use to uh, get some revenge but uh, in the meantime we're gonna go back to the perimeter because I have reimagined redesigned and re done things to the uh, the item destructor mat 3000 so we're gonna do a rebuild job on that and uh, I will meet you back at the perimeter okay we're here and lagging let's get a bit more of perspective uh, by the way I've turned on mip maps and anisotropic filtering so to let me know if you think it looks better. I think it does look a bit better. I don't like having to do it because I would prefer to use FS or uh, SSAA, Super Sample Anti Aliasing, but because 1.7 broke that for my graphics card drivers, I just have to settle for this. Anyway, beacon beams only load in when you look at them, apparently. Okay, so there's less storage here. And the reason for that is because a lot of it's been moved into the nether to reduce people's client lag. Ooh, look at that. That's all that's gone. Alright, so... Here the design is going to be pretty much the same as before. 
from the front but the, the guts is going to be quite different so I think the first thing that we should actually do is just tear all of the guts out so we're just going to remove all of this and all of this I think we can leave those up there although they might get in the way so maybe not Yep, I'll take you. Okay. Let's grab some more stuff. The new build is a lot cheaper. Uh, not in terms of blocks, but in terms of redstone devices. And the function, it, it, it works better. It, um, it's faster responding and it's less um, just less bad in all sorts of ways. I'll explain as we go along so don't you worry about that. And we leave that? I guess so. Let's fill in some more. Actually you know what? Let's um, let's not do that. Let's get rid of all this stuff because I need to be able to think clearly. Uh, silk touch. Alright. So, yeah, I can't actually get there now. Need some scaffold blocks. That much is certain. <laughs> oh, that's just snow layer. Okay. Uh, I think iron blocks around here is just fine. Anything in here right now? Yes, there is. All right. Um, So the first thing we want to build is the emergency reset, emergency uh, stop, brother. So I've got my build up on another client ready to look at. I've built it a few times, so I know it pretty well, but not quite well enough to just build it straight away. Okay, so we need a block here. I believe that's the button right below the green block. Yes, it is. Good. So then on here get some items and yep like so we're gonna have a redstone torch and dust and repeater on three then we're gonna have block 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 oops not there And dust, dust, dust. Repeater, repeater. Repeater. And then this goes into a block. This goes onto you. And then over here we're going to have another block. And I think another one over here. Oh, actually, not, not this one. We can get rid of that. But that goes like so, and we don't need that. So I'm just going to build it exactly enough blocks to have the redstone, and then we'll sort it out later. 
Uh, we'll make we'll case it and so on later. Uh, so no, is there any way to sleep around here? I'm sure I saw some beds earlier. Ah, here we go. I believe I'm the only one. On. Yep. Okay. Let's get back to it. Uh, so that takes care of the uh, emergency stop. So if we press this button now, you should see this repeater switches on, and if we press it again, the repeater switches off. And then the signal from that is going to come alongside here. Go up here and here. And then we're just going to take it all the way along to the lamp. So we should see if we just press this, the lamp turns on and it turns off. Good stuff. Okay, so that's now done. That's all of the components of the emergency stop. So now, uh, now we need, <laughs> now we need scaffold blocks. So if I have a shovel, we might use dirt because there's loads of dirt around here. Actually, you know what? What would be perfect is stone brick. Do we have any just lying around? I guess all of the um, and variety aisle. Ooh! Clay, ice, miscellaneous. Ah, so it's been moved down here. That's cool. So what do we got here? Give me stone bricks, signs and chests, wood materials, string cobwebs, torches, ice. Those are probably just empty. Full, full, full. What are they? Iron ores, coal ores, redstone ores, gold ores. Diamond and lapis. What do we got here? Um, okay. Well, it looks like there's no none of the blocks that I need around here, so I'm just going to get some in this chest. One, two. That should be more than enough. So we'll replace the shovel with the blocks. Alrighty then. So for the uh, clock, which is what we're going to build next, we need, uh, I need to have a little look at my example that I've got set up. So let's let's start at the uh, this thing. We need a block there, we need a block there. So this is what's taking the signal into the dropper. And here we need a comparator taking the signal out of the dropper. Oh yeah, this build actually uses a lot more redstone dust, so we're going to need to some of that. Let's go fetch some. It's over here, isn't it? Ouch. Uh, might even need more than that, so... Let's just make sure that we don't have to come back. That's the quick, efficient way. I'm going to put the stuff back anyway, so... Alright, so now... Again, over here, that comparator takes the signal out into one of these. And then the signal goes sideways. And then it goes down. onto that block there. So we need we should have pillared up over here. Alright, so you need to be a dust. And then we have to I think block that off. Just to make sure. Yep. So there needs to be a block. <laughs> there. <laughs> Not there. Um, and another one here. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so let's also... No, actually, let's keep going this way. So, 
the signal from the from the gosh I've forgotten the name of it now dropper signal from the dropper goes through that block into the comparator into this block into this torch into this redstone dust and then it goes into that block there whence it goes into that torch and that torch is what is actually powering the comparator clock so we go like that good okay the comparator clock needs blocks on the side and one on top here Cha -ching. and the signal gets taken yeah, it's on right now, as you can see. Single it gets taken up. Is that right? I think I've built this not quite 100% correct. Oh, oh okay. Uh, this is not here. So this is not here. Let's just get rid of all that. What we need is to have a block down there. That's where the redstone is on. Lagazo. Yeah. Okay, so redstone goes on there and it powers this block right here. And that's where my torch is. And that's powering lay comparator. We have U there, and the reason we take the signal up is because we need to block that signal over there. And we don't need that block there. And we do need a way up. Um, so if you were paying attention before, you can see there, or oh, you actually can't see anymore, but that block there has redstone on it, so this repeater powers the block, which powers the redstone, which powers that block, which powers that torch. So if we turn on the, the emergency stop now, it should actually prevent the clock from running, which is useful. There you go, see how the comparator's turned off, that torch is turned off, that repeater's on. Good stuff. Uh, let's get higher frame rates by doing this. Okay, so we take the signal that's making the clock, and then we take the signal up one, and just along here, like so. Good. So I think that is actually it for the clock now. Ugh, that was not what I meant to do. So there's only one last thing to do, which is the um, the thing about Bubba. I believe the button's over here. We need that for reasons that will become apparent soon. So again, this is already turning off the thing again, so if we again switch off the emergency shut off, the clock still won't turn on, even though there are still items in here. So if we break that, the clock will run. And the items will get voided. So now they're all gone. Alright, uh, let's just make our lives a bit easier here. So that is uh, pressing the button. The button pressy. And I need to have a little look at my design here to see what next. Okay, we need something special one slab one slab in this whole design but it is a very necessary slab you go there okay we run the redstone signal along here this slab is just preventing the 
redstone signal from the button from passing into this dust right here. And that's important because we're going to use this dust to turn the lamp on. So now we're going to take this dust and it's going to become the light of the build. So like so. And we need to go up again. Obviously we will need to block the signal there and then we'll just run it along here that should work shouldn't it? yeah so let's put some items into void oh, I've got a few things already let's try you, you and you and you yeah okay so in theory now if we press the emergency stop, this lamp won't even turn on if we press commit to destruction. And we can see that actions are taking place. And now if we disable that, we should see items getting destroyed and the lamp turn on and then turn off as soon as it's done. Great stuff! So we are actually done here. That is the whole thing. We don't need that there. And obviously we can case it the same way as before. Although, you know, we should actually do one more thing. Because um, there's no good way to get in to see the items that you accidentally put in and don't want to destroy. Maybe I'll do that later. I don't feel like doing that right now. <sighs> um, in fact, let's have a look at this miscellaneous. See if there's anything... If there's any pistons. We need a sticky piston for this next step. Oh yeah, so we saved six repeaters. Check it out, and three torches. If any redstone stuff would be here, it would be in this chest. Probably. Yeah, it doesn't look like we have any here. Maybe we should finish the job though. I think it's... We got one. Well, we only need one. We do need some sand as well. I don't think there's any sand in this entire area. Okay, you know what? I'm going to fetch the necessaries. Could use gravel. Don't know how popular this is going to be. I'm going to use gravel. So instead of sand, we're going to use gravel. I know we have a good amount of that. Oh! <laughs> there is sand right here. Oh, man. Derp, derp. We need two for symmetry. And we need a slime ball to make a sticky piston. So, one a yo. We also want a gold pressure plate, so we need a bit of gold. I know we have gold items. There we go. Meow. Nuke, if you're sad about that, I'll re replace it later. One of these is worth, like, nearly an ingot. Maybe I should put two of those in there. You know what, that would be funny. Repaid. Alright, so we also need some cobblestone. Iron ingot. We got redstone. We got wood. Three. Perfect. And I need two more redstone for the thing. And that's kind of it. Okay, just some cobblestone then. Wherever might I find that? Oh, look. Um, actually, you know what? There doesn't seem to be any here. Maybe it's been moved into the nether. Let's have a look. Might as well have a little look at the nether storage anyway, so 
let's get in here. Whoa. Okay. That's an interesting development. I wonder what that's for. Weird. Smooth stone, smooth stone, smooth stone, smooth stone, cobblestone. Man, this place is nice. If you want a job done well, ask Nuke. He does it pretty damn awesome. Doingy, doingy, doingy. Okay. Yep. So, we need you. Why do I have two buttons? Did I ruin something? Whatevs. Feels weird to run without speed. You can see my frame rates in here. You know. Well, okay, they're kind of limited by fraps, but they wouldn't be as good as they had been earlier. And it's, it saves people's clients, because digging out here is a lot more uh, intensive on their client. And also, this is where we want the high frame rates. So we're going to put the gold pressure plate there. We're going to take that out. And that. Item will pop off eventually. Same here. And that will go. Now we need the piston to be sticky. And this is the up position, so the piston goes against that block right there. And we need the sand there and there. This side is just for symmetry, right? And then down here, we're going to have something like this. And I need a redstone torch. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Give me my redstone torch. There we go. Uh, <laughs> I've trapped myself. Alright, so that should sort that out. Now we just place the blocks back. Du -du -dum. And now we have a new way to access it. And the way to do that is throw on some stuff that doesn't stack. Doing. So I like that. It's much neater. That doesn't activate the piston, which is good. And the only sounds that come from this build are from the buttons and from the uh, clicking of this item dropper. So. That's one thing I like. My philosophy of redstone is use as few pistons as possible. That's why I only have one to do this. Um, few light updates as possible, and that's kind of it, really. So, just an overview. Here we have a T flip flop that is controlling a clock, and here we have an RS no latch that is also controlling the clock. So that block right there is a triple input. It gets an input from the clock, it gets an input from the RS no latch, and it gets an input via that repeater that block does uh, from the T flip flop. So quite a lot going on, but I think this is actually quite a nice project for somebody who's like starting out redstone because it contains the three most or three of the most important types of redstone device the T flip flop the RS no latch and a clock so um, I am gonna check the video length and then I shall be back alright looks like I've run out of time for the episode today thanks very much for watching I hope you appreciate this little uh, view of what we've done so far in the perimeter and I will see you next time. This is Blade MPD, and I'm out.